So here not too long ago, my channel passed 1,000 subscribers, which is honestly crazy to me. I honestly didn't know if my channel would ever get to 1,000 subscribers at any point in its life here on YouTube. So the fact that it got there so quickly left me thinking about what is the future of this channel. And I feel like this is a good point to make this video and just tell you guys about content that I'm gonna be producing here in the near future. And no, you don't have to worry. This is not a video about me saying I'm drastically changing my channel now that I have a thousand subscribers. It's actually quite the opposite. I'm sticking with what I wanna do and the main core idea of this channel. But anyways, Let's get through this intro and let me tell you guys about what I've got coming here in the future of this channel. So first and foremost, just to let everyone know, I'm not drastically changing my channel, not by any stretch. Uh, I'm really sticking with the core idea that I brought to this channel when I decided to start it, and that's talking about not only used equipment here in the home theater environment, but when it actually fits, I'm gonna talk about high-end used equipment and how to find good deals on that and the benefits of those type of things. So that's really gonna be the core of my channel. I have no intention of changing that. That's, like I said, the real reason I started this and that's the core philosophy that I'm gonna stick with. But that being said, I also don't want my content to just become repetitive over and over and over of having it seem like it's the same thing, that I'm just doing the same videos on loop, on repeat, to where it starts to get repetitive and boring for everyone out there watching my content. So while the main idea of this channel is gonna stay the same, but I do wanna kinda of branch into every once in a while throwing in some other videos just to mix it up so that things don't seem so repetitive and just so by the book and seem kinda of boring. So with that, here's kind of the plan going forward, uh, at least in the near future, of what I'm wanting to do. And I feel like doing a video like this may become something that I do periodically on the channel. I think it's kind of good uh, to have transparency with all of you who are watching my videos and just let you know what I'm thinking about doing and what I've got in the works going forward. So number one, I'm definitely gonna try and stick with my upload pattern that I've somewhat established over these first six months. I really wanna to keep to two or maybe three videos uh, a week. That might vary a little bit depending on what's going on. I do work a full-time job and I work a lot of hours there, sometimes more than full-time. So my time is somewhat limited on when I can make these videos and edit them and get them uploaded. So I think uploading two to three videos a week is probably a good middle ground for me. Uh, a good point of where I'll stay in the algorithm and I'll stay fresh with everybody out there who likes watching my content, but I don't want it to be oversaturated and I don't want it to be undersaturated where I'm going long stretches in between uploading videos. So I think two to three videos is a good middle point and a good place where I wanna stick going forward with my uploading schedule. One other thing with that I do want to bring up, essentially what I do uh, in the YouTube world is called batch content. I didn't even know this was a term until recently, but because of my work schedule and how many hours I work and my availability or lack of availability to actually shoot these videos and make content, when I do have some free time, I tend to shoot a lot of videos or try to shoot a lot of videos and as much as I can in my free time. So I may shoot, especially with my Why I Own It videos, two or three or four or five of these videos all in a very short time period. So then I wanna edit them and get them uploaded. But again, to stick with my idea of not wanting to seem too repetitious and not become boring and repetitive, I don't upload them consecutively and I don't upload them as soon as they're done. So I put them in a staggered kind of pattern and I you know, batch them out for certain days of the week, sometimes weeks or even a month or two in advance and I'll have five or six videos just planned out like that. So if you look in my playlist and you see videos that are unavailable, that's all it is. It's just videos I've already shot and I've kind of put out there 
and just have them staggered for future dates to come out. So it's nothing to worry about. It's nothing wrong on your end or nothing weird going on on my end. Uh, that's all it is. It's just future content that hasn't been made public yet. So I've really tried to invest in upgrading the video quality and hopefully that's been noticeable in these last couple videos. I've upgraded some lighting that I have here. I've also watched a whole ton of YouTube videos. Uh, I mean a whole bunch um, of like how to edit videos, how to shoot videos, how to light videos, settings to use on your camera or your phone to try and get things to look more professional. So I really hope that my content has looked a little bit more professional and a little nicer uh, than where it was like six months ago when I first started. And so I've also seen some comments about that uh, where people have mentioned that they like the new look and how things are, are going. So hopefully that's visible to people when you watch my content. Now that being said, because I do my batch content, there are some videos that are shot prior to me owning my new phone that I use for, for the videos and before I kind of invested in these lighting setups. So specifically with my Why I Own It videos, you'll see the ones that are staggered out to release in the next couple weeks may look a little different, may not look as good. So hopefully everything will look better once we get past those handful of videos that I shot previously. So everything going forward with all my new equipment and setup that I'm using here should ideally, in theory, look better and look a little bit more professional. Again, I'm not drastically changing my channel by any means. I am still sticking with my core idea, my core philosophy of this channel, which is talking about higher end used items in the home theater environment uh, and also just regular used items and things like that with some of my why I own it and some other stuff sprinkled in. But I don't want my channel, as I said in the intro, to become too repetitive to where it starts to get boring with what content I'm producing. That it's just like a slightly different take on the same concept over and over and over again. I don't want that to happen because I don't want people to get bored and I don't want to get bored shooting the same content. So what I'm gonna do is still focus on that stuff primarily and that's gonna be the bulk of like 50, 60% of the content will probably be that. I do also wanna go back and revisit the idea of doing some of my nostalgia videos that I kind of did early on right in the beginning but I haven't really done any in the last few months and really kind of talk about that sort of thing and maybe in a different vein or setup but really get back to that. I do also want to talk about just some other home theater just topics in general as well as not so much doing like movie reviews but talk about some movies that come out when I go to my local movie theater or maybe even do some in-person vlogging kind of things, which I have one of those that's gonna be in the works uh, that will be out on the feed here relatively shortly. I am making a trip down to the Record Exchange in St. Louis uh, this coming weekend from when I'm shooting this video right now. And I'm gonna hopefully be able to shoot some footage there, maybe talk with uh, the staff and the owners that are there. I don't know about that yet. I've talked to them a little bit, not sure how that's gonna work, but kind of do a vlog type thing of my day down at Record Exchange and what I'm looking for and just, you know, shooting video content there in that store. Uh, but just some other stuff to break up the content of when I go to places or something that's kind of unique uh, and do stuff like that. Uh, I also have a video planned here in the next uh, couple months. The Alien franchise is my favorite franchise of movies. Aliens is my favorite movie of all time. Alien Romulus looks awesome from the trailers I've seen. When that comes out, I think, you know, in a month or two, I'm wanting to do maybe some content around that. You know, not exclusively, but I do want to make a video or two about it. Uh, but anyway, so the whole overall thing about this is the content I want to produce. I'm going to stick with what I have been doing, but I want to make sure I vary things up a little bit. So I've also thought about throwing in some live streams here on my channel to supplement my like edited, more produced videos. And the whole reason I thought of that stems from when I was making my Shop Goodwill budget home theater build videos, which I have three of them on my channel, but I recorded and kind of did pre-prep, pre-production stuff on like six or seven of them, but I only released like three. 
And I stopped working on those because I realized the items I talk about are usually already sold by the time these videos would post on YouTube. So if I'm really trying to help people out there understand, oh, this is a good deal and you should buy this if this is something you're interested in and wanting to get into, that doesn't really do you any good if the items I talk about are already sold and gone. Yes, it's nice to show you what's available, but if you guys out there who maybe are actually looking at these to make a purchase, well, if that item's already gone and you don't even have a chance to purchase it, well, why am I even pushing it to you to buy or to take a look at to buy if you can't even buy it? Because it's already gone. The auction ended like a week ago before the video even posted. So I was thinking about that and talking with my wife and I thought it maybe would be a good idea to periodically, you know, not like on a every week or every other day schedule or anything, but maybe once in a while, once every couple weeks, do a live stream where the sole focus of that live stream is just to talk about eBay items and like Shop Goodwill and Goodwill Find items that I think would be a good purchase for a home theater. And then I could talk about it uh, right there live with everyone involved and it's in real time to where people will be able to actually do research and potentially buy some of these items that are listed on there and not be looking at them after the fact. So that may be something to come in the future. And one final thing that I want to bring up to you guys, and hopefully everyone who's watched this, especially if you're a subscriber to my channel, you can comment down below and let me know if this is something you want to see. I have gotten several emails from companies asking me uh, to have them sponsor the video so I could do product reviews. And I've kind of pushed them off and told them I didn't want to do it because that isn't really what my channel is about. My whole channel really is about used items. That's the whole point of this channel that I've talked about in this video and in multiple other videos. When I'm talking about home theater equipment or media or whatever, it's always, for the most part, used. Especially big ticket items, projectors and speakers and stuff. I never buy any of that stuff new and I don't really want to start making my channel about buying new items because there's a ton of those channels that are out here on YouTube that talk about new items and they're great at what they do. You know, I'm not taking anything away from them. They're a big reason why I started this channel. And honestly, I'm kind of leaving it up more to my viewers, to you guys out there to see if that would be something you would be interested in the future. I don't want to make it a common occurrence. I don't want to make it the mainstay of my channel because like I said, that's not what this channel is about. But if you guys are interested in that, I may decide every once in a while to throw in something like that. If that's what you guys want to see, I don't want to deny you guys. You know, I would love to produce content that you guys want to see. So I'm kind of leaving that up to you guys. So definitely comment down below and let me know if that is something that you guys would like to see in the future on this channel. So with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. This is just kind of like a summer 2024 update about my channel now that I've got a thousand subscribers and that I'm right around or just at 50 videos here on my channel. And I think this type of video is something good to do periodically, you know, every couple months, whatever, just kind of give like a update, a state of my channel kind of thing and let people know what I'm planning on doing, what's kind of coming out in the future and what I'm thinking about. So definitely, like I said, comment down below if you guys have any ideas for stuff on my channel. I'm definitely open to hear what people have to say because like I said earlier, I wanna make content that you guys wanna watch. Uh, as much as I wanna make content for me, I wanna make content for you. I don't wanna just make stuff to make it and no one be interested in what I'm talking about. So if you guys have ideas, definitely comment down below. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up, I'm gonna end it here. Like I always say, thank you so much to everybody who's interacted with my content in any way. So with that, I'm gonna finally wrap up this video and stop talking. Uh, thanks again to everyone. Be on the lookout for more content coming soon on the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.